blessing to you. Back on Midnight Cry. God bless you, brother Mike. Good to see y'all. Blessings to you. Sister Margaret, Lee, Lee Houston, God bless y'all. God bless you, Donna. Good to see you as well. One of my followers. You've been following me for a while. Marjorie, God bless you. I love seeing Sister Margaret on here. God bless you, sis. Good to see you as well. All of you, Brother Mike, uh, Sister Lisa, Mary. Let me see, I don't want to overskip anybody. Donna, Lily, God bless y'all, man. It's really good to see y'all tonight. Back on for a midnight cry. Feel great on tonight. And y'all don't understand. Like this is my this is one of my my happy times. Yeah, God bless you as well. It's good to see you. It, like when I see certain people come in, it just it, it really it just it, it charges me when I see when I see certain people. Not saying that none of y'all ain't important. It's just certain people have a certain uh like a virtue up on them. When you see those people, it, it charges you up. And like I say, it, it, it depends on the type of anointing on somebody's life as well. So God bless you. Like I say, nobody, I don't have a respect of a person. Like I say, nobody's important. It's just when I see certain people, uh, it does something to my spirit. Amen. But God bless y'all. Really good to see y'all on tonight. Brother Mike, God bless you. Thank you for being in position. And this word right here, y'all, <laughs> I'm telling y'all in this season, uh, God has just been sending a word for his people. I believe it's a word of healing, a word of healing. And what many of us are doing, many of us are going through trials and tribulations and we're going through things. God bless you, Sister Candy, one of my spiritual babies as well. Um, many of us are going through trials and tribulations and we press it and we press it and we, we see in the bottom fall out, trust and believe. I, I understand because I've been there. You know, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and lie and tell you there, there aren't days that I felt discouraged. There aren't days that I felt like throwing in the towel, didn't want to teach, don't don't want to do the midnight cry no more. There's been several, there's been several, you know what I'm saying? Not a lot, but it's several days that I just didn't want to do what I was called to do. There was days that I wanted to walk away from everything. There was days that I just wanted to run away and just and take a trip and just hide from everything and everybody. Um, I've been there before and like I say, I understand we all go through trials and tribulation, but beloved, listen, these trials are coming to make you, this stuff ain't coming to break you. God bless you, sister Cassandra. Uh, this stuff ain't coming to hurt you. I mean, God is coming to mold you and what, and, and what happens is now we start getting discouraged in the process of a thing. Now, when you're going through it, and I see when you first enter into a trial, you're like, okay, you know what, Lord, you got this, Lord, I know. But see, when we start getting in depths, when you start coming to, coming to going deep in a trial and realizing, wait a minute, this thing don't look like I'm coming out of it. Who am I talking to? It's like, as soon as you come out of a trial, you enter into a trial. Wait a minute, you just came out of this one. Now you're going into a trial. Now you came in a trial, and it's like, you, you see what's going on. You see God taking you through, but the process of a thing, it, it, it can what be, it, it's hurtful. The process, because you say, God, I understand what you're doing. Uh, God, I know you're taking me through. God, you, you revealed this thing to me. And see what most of y'all see, and I'm not going to say everybody, because some people just not in the spirit like they should be. Um. God is not going to send you a trial and really let you be caught off guard. That's if you're in the spirit and you're seeking God and you're praying. There's not too many things God is going to let come your way and it catch you off guard. Especially like when there's detrimental things in your life. See, also, God can be giving you warning before destruction. Many of us aren't taking heed to what God was saying. When God was trying to help us to get out of relationships and out of situations, and who am I talking to, out of circumstances, 
we decided that we wanted to do it on our own. We wanted to do it our way and that we just charged God foolishly that God, you know what? I heard you on the thing, but God, I'm just going to do it my way. Many of us, many of us put ourselves in situations and then turn around and cry wolf later on after we didn't got so deep off in a thing. Okay. And see, that's why it's important when, when somebody is giving you wisdom and knowledge and, and, and they counseling you, they're mentoring you always listen to what they say. Don't you know, there are people who have eyes to see exactly what you're getting ready to go through. I mean, and you see this stuff that's coming and you, and you see you a lot of stuff. Listen, you can see coming from a mile away. Some things you can see it coming. Just some things just build up and get to a place just like if you're, you're going through a thing and, and you holding all this stuff in. Now, all of a sudden, when you do release, it's like it, it comes out the wrong way. Now you're offended. Can't nobody tell you nothing. See, when people try to give you counsel and they try to show you, listen, okay, this is not the right way to go. You don't want to, you don't want to go this way. You want to stay where you at. See, we start, we start thinking, here comes pride now. We think, okay, our way is best. So now we're blowing up on everybody that gives us counsel. You're, you're like a ticking time bomb. Can't nobody tell you nothing. It's like you wait for a minute to explode. So when somebody tell you something, oh, wow, I don't see it like that. And, and see, you, you just waiting to, see, waiting to release on somebody. You are already dealing with stress. Got this mental anguish because of what you're dealing with in the home, on your job. So you got all this stuff sitting up in you. So now when it is time to release, it comes out the wrong way. I'm not sure who this for on tonight, um, but I'm just trying to flow and help y'all. Many of y'all are going through uh, strange situations. Many of you going through trials. Uh, some of you doctor's reports. Many of you got financial. Many of you going relationship issues. Many of you going on with people. Some of you are just uh, emotionally, like emotionally you messed up. Like a roller coaster. You in and out. One minute you happy, one minute you sad. It's just you have so many events in your life that get you like that. And we go through that. But see, one thing I've learned about a trial, your praise can turn this thing around. Your praise can go it can cause God to manifest. Now, see, I know you've been going through, I know you've been hit a, a hit uh mentally, physically. Your prayer life taking a hit. You, you barely want to go to you barely want to go to prayer. You barely want to go to church. I understand that. But the only thing that's gonna bring you out in this hour is if you praise God under pressure. That is what God gonna do. So I'm gonna show you something on tonight. Somebody, you you, it's like you you're dealing with so much mentally, physically, your body acting up. You don't know what's going on. Your kids giving you hell. Your house is crowded. It's like your house is crowded. It's like you're getting ready to blow up. Somebody, it's like you're getting ready to blow up. You're just holding all this stuff in. And one thing going to happen is going to set you off. Listen to what I'm saying. Control your emotions in this hour. Control your emotions. Now, I know you're going through. I know it's rough. But this too shall pass. Listen to me on tonight. I hope y'all believe, I hope you believe I don't just come on here and be talking. I don't come on here and be talking. I flow as, as the Spirit of God leads me as he gives me utterance. These trials are weighing some of us so down to a place we can't even praise God. You don't, you can't even praise God. It's like, yeah, you a tick, a walking time bomb. You, you wait until it explodes. Now it's to the point you can't take counsel now. You don't want to hear nothing. You, I mean, you're rejecting everybody's word. God, you're not moving fast enough. Who am I talking to? You're getting impatient. You're getting in a pity party. Now you got to the place you're saying, God, why me? Let me tell you something about that why thing. Why see you questioning God on what he's doing? Now, one thing you don't ever do is question God in a process. Don't say why you doing it, 
But God, what are you doing? What are you doing in this situation? Now, God, I, now I see what you're doing. Now, I feel the turbulence. I feel the pain through this thing. God, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little afflicted. I'm a little perplexed on each side. My back is up against the wall, God. But what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, why? why, Not why, but what, what are you taking me through? Like, what is the outcome? What are you trying to reveal to me? Reveal to me the things to come. Give me eyes to see. Give me foresight on what you're doing in my life. That's what I got to the point where I started asking God. I said, God, let me see what's up ahead. And the reason why I say that, when I put that in my prayer, when I tell y'all, I say, God, let me see what's up ahead. Give me foresight. Give me eyes to see. And that's when you activate the voice of God in your life to see God, let me hear you. There's things that you're going to hear. It's going to be challenging because God going to speak things you really don't understand. He going to speak things, but see, God trying to get you to a place. He going to try to show you things and reveal. You say, God, why are you showing me that? I'm trying to get you to a place where you understand what I'm saying. Understanding my voice. So one thing about these trials that some of y'all going through, God revealed this stuff to you before it happened. So now what God is trying to do is God is getting you to a place. Now he's saying that you're going to praise your way up out of it. Even when you're in sin and you're in iniquity. Even through the chastening, glory to God. God is whooping you to a place and you don't understand it. You're saying, God, why? Okay. God whooping you to church. He whooping you to prayer. God, why am I going through? But the whole time, what he's doing, I'm whooping you to a place in me. In other words, I had to whoop you into position. Okay? God had to whoop you into position. So that's why some of us are going through so severely. And to be honest with you, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Many of us are just outside of God's word. If the truth be told, many of us just step out of that word. And then you try to understand God, why am I going through? Say, God, what am I doing? God, I start revealing to you what your problem is, what you got to get right, the strongholds that's in your life. What are you giving access to? Why am I sending you through a thing? What I'm trying to tell you, what, what level I'm trying to take you to. God, I start revealing this stuff. Do you understand on tonight? Watch this. This is what he said. I'm going to show some of y'all how you going to come up out of this thing. I'm going to show you how you're going to come out. See, now I had to give you, I had to build the revelation to show you. Now you may be going through the trial. So let me get, I didn't bake the cake now. So let me put the icing on the thing. I'm going to show you how you're going to come out of this trial. And many of you, you're going to stop murmuring after tonight. You're going to stop murmuring and complaining and just crying in a pity party about what you're going through. Brother Travis is going to teach you how to come up out of this thing. Do y'all do y'all understand? Watch this. Do y'all understand where my peace comes from? Where my joy comes from? Where the breakthroughs come from? I'm going to show you the secret. You know what the secret is? Somebody said, what's the secret, Brother Travis? It's praise. It's praise. I'm constantly praising my way up out of a thing. I'm constantly giving God glory. Now, God, even when you chasing me, God, you whooping me, but thank you. Thank you. God, you sending me through hell in my finances. God, thank you. Like, I'm praising. This is what he says, Psalms 100, verse number four. Now, he says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. How many of us got to praise? How many of us got to praise? Now, I'm working on this thing. Uh, Y'all listen to me on this. I'm working on this thing with love. And I'm not saying, listen to me, I'm not saying I'm, I'm a compromise. But by love and kindness have I drawn thee. 
Now I know there be times where I cut that flesh. I'm not apologizing for that. Um, but I'm working on this thing with love. So I'm trying to draw people with love. Uh, I'm going to try not to be so rough. You know how you can strong hold, you can't strong, strong arm nobody to believe and strong arm nobody to learn what you're trying to teach. Um, I think that has a lot to do with the anointing. What the anointing can do, you can use the anointing for good, but you can also use it for bad. It, you can really hurt people. You can really hurt people. So I'm saying I'm trying to do this thing with more love because I, I notice uh, when I show more love, the anointing moves. So like I said, I'm not going to compromise, but I'm going to try to show love. But at the same time, you're going to feel where I'm coming from. Like we get enough of sugar. I'm going to tell you the truth, but see, I'm going to do it and love. There'll be times I know it, it may come off and it sound rough, but like I said, I have to give it to you all the way straight. You understand? When I was in the world, I wanted it all straight. I didn't want I didn't want nothing sugar coated. I want the best weed, the best pills, the best drinks. Walk me down four liquors in one drink. Booger stayed drunk, stayed high. You know, of course I'ma stay real, but I wanted it all the way straight back then. But see, I'm I'm trying to draw people with love, but listen to what I'm saying. The word of God says, by love and kindness have I drawn thee. But oh yeah, it's gonna be real. Oh, it's still going to cut that flesh. But I'm going to try to do it through love. And this is what I was trying to say before I cut you, before I cut your flesh. So just, I numb you before I do it. The reason why many of us are not seeing a breakthrough like we should, because you don't have a praise. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him. God, I'm giving you thanks Despite of what I'm going through. Now I'm giving you thanks. Despite of my back up against the wall. God, I'm giving you thanks. God, I thank you for the doctor's report. God, I thank you for the calamity. I thank you for the marital issues. I thank you for the backstabbers, the backbiters. Yeah, they're backbiters for a reason. Because they got to be behind you to do it. That stuff is working something together for your good. So God, I'm coming in. Listen, I'm giving you thanks. I'm entering to your courts with thanksgiving and praise. I'm giving you the glory. God, I'm magnifying you more than my situation. And that's what many of us do. We start magnifying the situation more than we magnify God. Your God is bigger than all of that. Your God is so much bigger than a doctor's report. He's so much bigger than the eviction notice. He's bigger than the soul tie. He's bigger than the, the Bud Light. He's bigger than the addiction. God is bigger than all that. And we start magnifying a the thing. Then watch what we do when we start going through a trial. We start looking at how long we've been in it. You start looking at how long you've been in a trial. God, I've been in this thing for like five or six years. It seemed like, am I ever going to come out? I've been in this thing for so long. The same addiction, the same turmoil, the same relationships, just in the same cycles. And see, that's what happens. See, now we start magnifying the situation more than we magnify God. And then we stop giving praise. It's to the point now you come in the house of God and you got your arms folded. Can't lift your hands. They got to prompt. Why we got to prompt and beg people to praise God? Shouldn't nobody have to prompt and beg you to praise God and give God glory? A man who gave you breath. A man who woke you up in the morning. A man who healed you from cancer, spared your life, spared your children's life. That's not enough to give him praise. That's not enough to give him glory. The great I am. That's not enough to give them praise. Like we have to be prompt and praise. Many of us can't praise God without music. We can't praise God without somebody having a microphone. That's how I know your praise ain't real when you have to be prompted to praise God. He says, uh, Psalms 100 and verse 4, 
and into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. God, I'm going to bless your name. And I'm going to give you praise. I'm not going to wait for somebody else to praise him. I'm not going to wait for my uh, the person sitting next to me to praise him. You understand? Know I'm, I'm not getting to that place where I cannot praise you or magnify you. Beloved, listen to me. Every trial I went through, I gave God praise. But you know what I started doing? I started thanking God for it. I started thanking him for the trials. I started thanking God for the mind battles. Whew. Let me tell you something right here. I used to think people that committed suicide were weak. I used to think that. But you won't think that until you go, when you go through your mind, you'll have a whole nother attitude. You'll have a whole nother attitude about that. When God let me be hit in my mind, y'all listen, he let me be hit in my mind. I just couldn't get in control of my mind. It's like it was demonic whispers, the thoughts, the stuff that was going on in my mind and guess what nobody knew nobody knew I was going through in my mind like you saw I was getting blessed but you couldn't see I was going through in my mind like you seen that you seen me preaching and you saw, you say you saw people calling me to minister you you say all this but you didn't see I was going through in my mind you didn't see how messed up I was in my mind. It was all in my mind. You saw everything. They would be prophesying to me and telling me things. But you couldn't see I was going through in my mind. You couldn't see how messed up I was. God, don't give me the kind of anointing that just, that just sees uh, they get blessed and get money and cars and they have ministry opportunities and how they're going to be big and successful, but can't see they died inside. Like I was going through in my mind, but nobody knew. Still teaching, going through in my mind. There were some scopes that I did, y'all, and I was going in, I was, I was ministering from a place. Because that's what God will do. God will take you to a place to minister from that place. Lord, I ask you to flow on tonight. Send a word for these people, Lord. Lord, your people need healing on tonight. Lord, your people need deliverance. Lord, I thank you for the utterance in Jesus' name. The only way I came up out of that is through praise. I never, listen, I never let down on my praise. I kept the same praise. I still worship God. I came into the house of God with thanksgiving. When I was sitting in the pews and still going through in my mind, listen to me. It was like there were peace when I got into church. But as soon as I got out of the church, I was still going through in my mind. Do you know what brought me out? It was praise that brought me out. I entered into, into his course with thanksgiving. I was still giving God glory. Still had a praise. Now, despite of me taking a hit in my mind, I still had a praise. Despite of the fiance, the woman I was going to marry, she walked out of my life. But yet I still had a praise. But I had to sit there and allow God to speak to me things that was getting ready to come to pass. It was like, like God, I don't want to hear that. Showing me my mom getting ready to die. God, you, God, I see what you said, but God, I don't want to see that. I had to praise my way through it. Then when the stuff come to pass, I had to praise my way through it. Sitting there getting ready to get married. And then God, you turn around and tell me after I'm going through engagement pictures and going through this, you sit there and tell me that there won't be a marriage. That, that does something up here. You understand? And God is speaking like that. And he's sitting there and he's showing you like, Lord, you know what? <laughs> God, I saw what you said and I heard what you said. So God, 
So I'm just waiting. I'm just sitting like I'm waiting for this stuff to come to pass. But guess what I kept doing, Sister Mary? Still praising God. You showing me my mama getting ready to die. The closest person to me. My father wasn't there. The closest person to me. You showed me that while she was up well. And what's crazy about it, wasn't nothing wrong, but you showed me what she getting ready to go through. I had to keep praise of my way. Keep doing what I had to do. Keep keep letting God build me, mold me, make, make the ministry that's in me. Letting God make the man. But I kept praising him. I never stopped my praise. I kept going. I had the mentality that this too shall pass. Kept praising him. Kept praising my way into a breakthrough. That's the secret, beloved. It's not to sit and murmur in a pity party. But it's to give God praise in spite of. In spite of the afflictions. In spite of the drama, the pettiness, what your family doing. Despite of the backstab, despite of everything going on in the job. You still have to give them praise. So watch this. It's about the praise of the upright, amen. Psalms 33, verse number one. He says, rejoice in the Lord. O ye righteous, for the praise is calmly for the upright. You see, he said, praise is calmly to the upright. The reason why many of us don't have a praise is because we're not upright. We're not upright. That's why I'm saying, should nobody have to beg you to praise God? You shouldn't have to wait for the praise. You shouldn't have to wait for the praise. You shouldn't have to wait for the praise team to get up. So you can get up and, and shout and dance and sing. Should nobody have to get on a microphone and tell you to stand on your feet and give God glory? He says, rejoice in the Lord. How many of y'all rejoicing in the Lord? Or are you sad in the Lord? See, we're going to rejoice at the fact that, God, we know what you're getting ready to do. That, God, I'm going to praise my way up out of this thing. He says, praise is calmly to the upright. This thing is comedy. This is something that we do. You ain't got to beg me to pray, praise God. You ain't got to beg me to lift my hands. You don't have to beg me to say hallelujah. God, I owe you a praise. I'm going to praise my way through this situation. I'm going to praise my way through the tears. I'm going to praise my way through the hurt, through the lies. Through the marital issues, through the allegations, I'm going to praise my way. See, the enemy is subtle. He'll get in your ear and make you think that wherever you at, that where you at, you're gonna stay there forever. That you're not coming out. That you're not gonna make it. I'm speaking specifically to somebody, and they don't even know it. I'm speaking specifically to to somebody, but I'm gonna let it hit everybody. See, now what the enemy is doing, the enemy is getting in your ear that you ain't going to make it, that you ain't going to come out. You're going to stay like this. You ain't going to never have peace. See, the enemy is getting in your ear, giving you that forever lingo, that, that trial you in, you're going to stay there, but praise your way up out of it. Praise your way up out of it. You're getting ready to see increase in your life through your praise. You're getting ready to see God show up and show out through your praise. You're going to see it suddenly hit your life. The break that by Kobo C. The breakthroughs are going to come through your praise. He says praise is calmly to the upright. God hears your cry. God see your praise. God see your diligence. He see you consistent. You consistent with giving me glory. Now, the spot of your back bit up against the wall, you still giving God glory. I sent you through ICU. I had you, I had you on your deathbed, but you still came out and gave me glory. I had to send you through to prove you to see what's in your heart. When you got up off your sick bed, you gave me glory. When I came in your home, you still gave me glory. You were still crying out. Still giving me glory. 
Even when the book of, uh, was mad and upset because you praising God. No, that was a distraction. There are some people are demonic decoys. See what it is, they couldn't take the God in you. They couldn't take the God in you. You still praise God in the midst of it. I know it hurts. The process, it hurts. But guess what? Praise your way out of this thing. That's the secret. Many of you, you haven't overcame your trials. You don't have the victory. You know why? Because you, you lost your praise. Truth be told, some of us have lost our praise. But I believe you can get it back. God, I'm going to praise you despite of how I feel. I'm going to praise you despite of the physical illnesses. I, I come against that on tonight in Jesus' name. Every spirit of infirmity, these strange headaches, I, I send healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, receive it on tonight. Receive it on tonight. God, I thank you, Lord, despite of what it looks like, despite of the bills piled up, despite of the garnishments, Despite of the calamity, God, I'm going to praise you. I'm going to praise my way out. I'm entering to your gates with thanksgiving. I'm going to give you glory. I'm not going to charge you foolishly in what I'm going through. Rhonda, your praise is going to make a way of escape for you. Your praise, Rhonda, is going to lose you. And see, one thing we got to get to a place in this hour is a sacrificial praise. God, I'm sacrificing everything unto you, and I'm giving you glory. I'm bringing out my kiosha. I'm bringing this thing to the altar, and I'm going to praise you. I'm going to praise my way until I see my breakthrough. I'm going to praise my way until I feel the glory. I'm going to praise my way until there's a shaking in the spirit. I'm going to praise my way into my prophetic anointing. Let my key shine. Glory. Somebody getting ready to praise their way into their prophetic anointing. you saying, God, I want to hear you. God, I want to see you. you getting ready to praise your way into it. Glory. I feel the glory on that one. I feel the glory on that. Somebody getting ready to praise their way into some things. you praising your way out of your sickness. Yeah. La my God. Glory. Hallelujah. You're praising your way out of anxiety. Yeah. You're praising your way into integrity. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Your praise is getting ready to loose you. Praise will loose the captive. You've been held bound for so many years, but not knowing your praise, you one praise away from your breakthrough. Receive it. You one praise away from your breakthrough. Praise the Oshakabaso. Glory. He says, Praise is common to the upright. This is a comely thing, Sister Lily. This thing is common. It's common for me to give you glory. Now, see, I'm going to give you glory, God. Now, the spider, I'm me looking crazy in the midst of it. They gonna look at you crazy because you gotta praise. How many of y'all get looked at crazy because you praise God? Because you speak in tongues, because you got your hands lifted. Them boogers ain't gonna stop my praise. You better get in while the water's stirred. You better connect with me so you can feel this anointing. Get you, you need to get a praise. Get to a place where you praise God, not just for what He's done for you, praise God for who He is. I don't need a praise partner. I don't need nobody to prompt me to praise God. I don't need nobody to tell me shout I, to shout. I do that anyway. Fact about I'm going to shout my way into a breakthrough. <laughs> I'm going to shout my way until I be changed. You understand? I'm going to shout my way until I feel the Shekinah glory. And see one thing about it. I'm going to keep giving God praise. That's the only thing I know. I don't know nothing. I can't, I can't tell you something I don't know. I just, I give God praise. I'm not trying to be deep with you. I'm not trying to be deep. I'm telling you what got me through. Praise is what got me through. 
That's what God kept praising God and giving God thanks for despite of what he was sending me through. Despite of the emotions. Despite of my flesh. I still kept giving God praise even when I was messing up. Even when I think wrong, God, I'm, I'm still giving you praise. Even when he chasing me and whooping me, I'm giving you praise. I'm, I'm giving you praise. Because God, I thank you. Fact about it, God, I, I'm thankful that you whooped me into position. I'm thankful that you did it the way you did it. And see, I'm not going to charge you foolishly for the things that you're doing in my life. I'm not going to charge you foolishly for the process that you've taken me through. So I'm still going to give you praise. Despite of the, the hours being cut, despite of anything, you are worthy to be praised. Beloved, I just wanted to encourage you about the praise of the upright. Many of you are getting your praise back. Many of you are getting out by Kose. Many of you, your praise is about to unloose the shackles in your life. Your praise is going to break the bands of wickedness off your mind. Your praise is going to give you strength. Your praise will send a break through tomorrow morning. It'll send a break that by Kose. By daybreak, something can manifest for you. I got this word yesterday from yesterday. And I was at church and the, the, the spirit, the spirit of God was really high and I was praising God. I, I mean, I felt, I felt the breakthrough anointed. I felt the breakthrough anointed in that place. I, I felt it when I was praising God. I said, man, I, I, if, if people did not feel this on today, there's going to be a breakthrough through a praise. And I was telling my wife and another sister, I said, there was a breakthrough anointing in there today. Through praise and worship, we got we sat down and was eating. I told them, listen, if you didn't, if you wasn't praising God, you're not gonna get it. Some of us are getting ready to see things within the next 24 hours through our praise. I prophesied that I decreed and declared that pray there was a breakthrough anointing in that service, but you had to be praising God. Like from your heart, not with show. Not just playing around, gang. You had to be praising God from the heart. I mean, I was I was praising God and, and it's shouting like, God, you're getting ready to do something. In my mind, I was praising and shouting and just say, God, you're gonna do it. You can in my mind, like, and and I felt that, and and, when so, and suddenly I just felt I felt it. God, you're getting ready to do it. I felt that a breakthrough anointing. The next day, watch this. The very, the, the very next day, which is today, a breakthrough came today. A breakthrough came today. Not only was it, it was it exactly what I needed, but it was plus more. It was plus more. And I praised my way until that breakthrough, and it, and it happened suddenly. <clears throat> it happened suddenly. And I, I didn't expect it. You can expect one thing, but then get more, you know, get double than what you expected. That happened through a breakthrough. And that happened through obedience through somebody else. She knows who she is. And like I say, man, praise is powerful. Praise is a weapon. And like I say, when it when it happened, I said, God, you know what? That was nobody but you. Nobody but the Lord. Nobody but the Lord to know. And see, God know what you have need of. And y'all, I come on and I give him my all. And I be asking God, I say, God, it's like sometimes why I feel like I pour out. It ain't nothing in return. God, I ain't seeing like nothing in return. And I asked God that. I felt like that. But see, I knew there was a war in everything I was doing. Even when I was being persecuted for what I taught. You know what I mean? Being rejected and despised because of my teaching and people walking away. And you know what I'm saying? Just different things. 
I said, God, you know what? I'm going to praise you despite of anything, despite of what I'm going through. I said, God, I'm going to give you praise. Despite of the financial calamity, this stuff is coming to an end in Jesus' name. Despite of all that, I said, God, I'm going to give you praise. I said, God, I don't want it to feel like um, I'm pouring out and not getting nothing in return. But there's a good thing about it. Even when you don't see nothing coming back in return for the for the seeds you sown, there's a harvest later on. It's just not time yet. So I, I catch revelation like God after the laboring. Where is the I'll be like, where's the blessing at? Where's the manifestation? You say, God, I believe your word, but where's that seed? What it is, I have to stop being impatient. God, I'm gonna move when I wanna move. It ain't about you. <laughs> you know what I mean? And one thing about it, y'all, praise is a weapon. I praise my way into a breakthrough. And it, it happened it, it happened unexpectedly, but I prophesied, I declared it. I said, something's getting ready to take place probably the next day. I said, I wouldn't be surprised if you saw this thing within the 24 hours, a breakthrough. And it was a breakthrough anointing. But it happened through prayer. You know what I mean? And once you praise God, God can do some miracles in your life. God can do the, the unexplainable. One thing about it if, it, if it can be explained, it's not a miracle. So that's what I tell people. If you can explain, it ain't a miracle. Miracles can't be explained because it's so supernatural. You say, God, I don't know how you did it, but you did it. But you did it through my praise. And God, I thank you. In my mind, go see. He did it through my praise, brother Scott. He did it through my praise, brother. And I just thank them for that. Some of you just got to get a praise. Sister Shelly, keep your praise. Candy Moore, keep your praise. Cassandra, keep your praise. Angel, keep your praise. Lily, keep your praise. Donna, keep your praise. Sister Mary, keep your praise. Listen, y'all keep the praise. Because God going to do it. Brother Mike, keep the praise. God is going to do it. God is going to do it. How many of you believe God is going to do it? And he going to fix it. He going to fix it for us. Sister Shelly, he going to fix it for us. God is going to buy by cool seed. He's going to perfect that which concerneth us. Things that concerns us, he's going to perfect that very thing. Receive it on today. Your tears ain't in vain. Your giving's not in vain. Nothing is in vain. But I'm going to tell you, beloved, don't lose your praise. Don't lose your praise. That's why many of us haven't seen the manifestation and we haven't seen the victory because we lost our praise. Get that praise back. In Jesus' name, God bless y'all. Just wanted to encourage you on tonight. Just flowing without fail or delay about the praise of the upright. Nothing deep. But I'm trying to encourage you, y'all, to get your praise back. Praise can do something in your life. Praise us in breakthroughs, manifestations. Keep your praise. I just want to encourage you. Sometimes I get discouraged, so this is on point for me. Amen. Praise your way up out of it. Praise your way. I don't care what the naysayers say, what the doctors say about what it looked like. I'm praising my way through. And that's what I'm going to do. I praise anyway. So I'm waiting for God to do something. I'm letting listen to fruits. It look, the, the fruits of my lips are going to be praise. Hebrews was saying something um, about that the fruits of your lips be thanksgiving and praise. And like I said, I'm going to find that scripture, I think, one day. Um, he was saying that by him therefore let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually that is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name giving thanks if you want to see a manifestation start giving thanks to God say God I thank you for what you're doing start thanking out my stay. glory Start thanking God for what's to come. God, I thank you for the ministry building. It's not here yet, but I'm thanking him for it. God, I thank you for the gymnasium. God, I thank you for the new car. I thank you for the new clothes. I, I thank you for the new anointing. 
I can hear you walk with you 24, 24, 7 and just hear you clear. God, I thank, start looking down the road. Start looking down, start thanking God on the things that are up ahead. Calling those things though they're not as they were. God, I thank you for life. I thank you for healing. I thank you for deliverance. I thank you, Lord, for running water, clean running water. I thank you for air conditioner. I thank you for a car. Start thanking God for this stuff so God can give you back double. You thanking me for it? Listen, I'm going to bless you with more. Because you're thanking God, you're, you're giving God the glory for what he's already done and what he's about to do. So that's what unlocks the true blessings of God. This stuff will happen naturally and spiritually. Now the anointing got stronger on your life. You had a mind to pray again. You had a mind to seek. Like when you started thanking God, you started giving God glory and things manifested. Before Jesus fed the 5,000, and this always, this always stuck with me. Before he fed the 5,000, he said, Father, I thank you. <laughs> he gave thanks. He said, Father, I thank you for hearing our prayers of what he was saying. And when he said thanks, guess what happened? It manifested. He said, by Stokos, say, y'all listen, glory. Jesus said, Father, I thank you. <laughs> wow. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Glory. I'm glad I brought that out. I didn't. The Holy Ghost did. Father, I thank you. And watch why. And look, look what happened. A man, he was able to feed the 5,000. What was it? Two fishes and one loaf of, uh, loaf of bread or whatever it was. Just paraphrasing. But he said, God, I thank you. Broke bread and gave thanks. <laughs> It, it, it's just, I, I look at that and I, I say, God, you know what? I, it, it, for some reason, y'all, that particular thing, what Jesus did, it always stuck with me because the miracle manifested. He gave thanks. Jesus Christ received the spirit of God without measure. As I am, so are you in this present world. Do you know what he, what he basically what he's saying? The works I do, you shall do greater. It all start with a thanks. God, I thank you for it. I thank you for the manifestation, God. I, I thank you for it all, God. You know what I have need of. You said, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. God, you're going to do it and you're going to fix it. I just want to encourage you. I love you so much. If you need my information, it's all on the profile, amen. And anybody have any prayer, any questions, God bless you. What is that? Yanil Castillo. Good to see you. Your praise is going to do it. You know, your praise is going to do it. You keep the praise, keep the right attitude. Watch God. La ma kobo si. Glory. I'm getting to the place now that I, my confidence is being built up in God. It's like my confidence in God is it, just going higher and higher. Like I, I have confidence in God. I have confidence that God is going to do a thing. Like you could always sit back and say, God, I hope you do it. But see, now you got confidence. Like, let me sit back and watch what he's going to do. Don't let me stress. Don't let me stress about bills stress about all this other stuff, stress about relationship issues, all this. No, let, let me just sit back and just watch. Don't, don't stress about it. Let me just sit back and watch. That's when you, now you get a confidence in God. God, now you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to praise you while I wait. I'm going to praise you while I wait for you to show up. While I wait for the manifestation, while I Wait for the breakthrough. I'm going to praise you in the midst. I'm, I'm going to praise you and wait. I'm going to praise you and just sit back and just watch what you're going to do. Don't let me get impatient. I'm going to be patient with this thing. But God, I'm going to see, you know, my confidence at a place. I'm going to just sit back and praise you. I'm going to praise you while I wait. Just want to encourage you. Father, we thank you on tonight. 
God, we thank you for a spoken word. And Lord, I thank you, Lord, for just sending healing on tonight, deliverance, Lord, through the teaching on tonight. Father, manifest for your people. God, we thank you for the outpouring. God, you spoke about the outpouring. Let our Marco say, let it hit your people on tonight in Jesus' name. Let them experience the outpouring. Let them experience that latter rain. God, you say the latter should be greater than the former. God, we thank you for the floodgates. God, we thank you for the open heavens. And we thank you for the manifestations in this season. God, break the stony heart. Give us eyes to see, ears to hear. We come against the spirit of rejection. We come against the spirit of manipulation, control, envy. I bind that spirit up right now in Jesus' name. And I loose the fruits of the spirit in your life. On tonight, I'm still. On tonight in Jesus' name. Father Yoshto Kobasi, God, we thank you for revelation. God, we thank you for insight. God, we thank you for a whole nother level of faith. God, we thank you for equipping us in this season. And Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory, glory, glory. Nobody be your shata babasi. Nobody but the Lord. Get ready for the overflow to hit your life. The overflow. It's time for you to believe God again. It's time for you to get your faith back. And it's time for you to keep your praise. La ma kobo say keep the right attitude. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody, this what's in my spirit, what you've lost is nothing compared to what you're about to gain receiving on tonight. Mm -hmm. You lost it. But it's not compared from what to what you're about to gain. Sometimes a loss is a gain. So whoever that's for, just receive it through the spoken word. Don't worry about your enemies. La ma kosi. Don't worry about the troubles. Many of you are dealing with troubles. You're very troubled. Cast your cares on him in this hour. Le kababa kobosi. I rebuke the spirit of fear on tonight as well. The turbulence in your life. That back and forth spirit is just a lot of turbulence. Peace be still on tonight. Peace be still on tonight. Let my kobo say a release, a release on tonight. A release on tonight. I come against job turmoil. I speak peace on that job in Jesus' name. Let my kobo bo kobo say. It's time for you to reverence God. Somebody get your reverence back for the Lord. Mm -mm -mm. God's going to move right on time for his people. Nothing is in vain. Your giving is not in vain. Your love's not in vain. Your labor is not in vain. All things are getting ready to work together for your good. God bless you. Love you so much. Be encouraged.